All right, so I might need some help. And to understand why, I gotta tell you a story real quick. Okay, so cut to New York about a month ago. I'm standing in the middle of 368. You know, Casey Neistat's creative studio, 368. Kinda freaking out. So I'm talking to this group of people that I don't know. And my friends are doing what they seem to always do when we meet new people. My friend asks if they wanna see something interesting about Kurt, and then he pulls out his phone. Oh God, here we go. I kind of cringe and, and back away uh, from the group. And naturally, these girls are confused. What is it that's so bad that it would make Kurt remove himself from the situation? And then they look at the phone and all of a sudden it makes a lot more sense. And they all look at me with genuine regret. Look at that, my friends, my friends were dying. See, what they were looking at was this my channel, the channel that you're watching this video on. And you're probably thinking, showing people your channel can't be that big of a deal. See, that's the thing, mine doesn't exactly show me in the best light. <coughs> See, my channel is high key ruining my relationship. Say that's the name of the video. And similar to that scenario has happened with girls I wanted to get to know better, a personal relationships, even even business. Don't ask me how, but a higher up at Liberty Mutual has definitely seen my videos and I haven't heard from them since, so. And naturally you probably think I'm crazy. Why am I putting myself in this position and ruining my relationships? And well, aside from the masochism, uh, it's because to me, it's really important for me. I'm about to turn the light skin levels up real high here for a second, so bear with me. My 23 years here, I've learned a lot in life. But one of the most important lessons I learned is that there's more than one way to look at things. I always thought myself a little narrow-minded in the past, especially when it came to things like my flaws and negatives. But nothing really stuck. It didn't feel real till I started talking about it, at least the things I actually figured out. And that's when I kind of realized that this is something that helped me. So the whole point of this channel is to change perspectives and to push the norm. Because in my lifetime, it's what's helped me change as a person, is looking at things differently. And then writing out these crazy opinions or writing out these like life flaws I've went through has all helped make it real and kind of helped me mental health wise. And it became something that was important to me, sharing these stories and these crazy opinions. Stories where I changed, where I learned something from something that was kind of dark. And when I do that, it helps me. And I like to think it helps other people. I've gotten so many comments of people saying that they related to what I was saying, related to being in this place, being concerned and knowing that there was someone else that helped. And I didn't have enough of that growing up, I don't think. And to be that for someone else, it's cool, honestly. So despite the stigma, I think these stories are worth sharing, for my personal growth, at least. And to me, that's more important than scaring off a girl because of one video. You, know, you gotta, you gotta watch. But there is one caveat to this whole thing. Let's concession over. Now, I'm not stupid. I know ruining my reputation probably isn't the best for me in the long run. But what's helped balance this scale is that I got to make a living while doing it. I got to help me and other people while being able to feed myself. So it's been fine. Because I know without these things, I'm probably just digging myself in a ditch. Like, I, I get it. Now, as of late, that's been kind of tough because YouTube doesn't really with me like that. A lot of the videos I put out get demonetized or get limited reach because of the things I say, sometimes being too polarizing or being too adult of a topic. And I see that. I probably lost some reach for censoring that right there. See, there it is again. I'm like, I've already cut this video. I don't even know if I can say that. Ugh. So I've had to do something, something I didn't really want to do. And even less now because this video has become so personal already like i really don't feel right like talking about it now so so for you if this is all you're here for y'all are excused from the video thank you for coming moral of the story being no matter what as long as i can i'm gonna keep doing what i'm doing because it's important to me and my mental health and hopefully other people out there and that's enough for me well, almost enough so thanks for watching and for the rest of you guys um I really don't like having to do this. Oh, God. So I'm launching a Patreon because I need your help to help me ruin my life more. <laughs> All right, no, but seriously. I know, I know, I know, I know. Another Patreon pitch, but I really felt it was something I needed to do to keep what I was doing, well, 
I guess, logical. <laughs> and, and to keep sharing the things I've learned in these new perspectives with you guys. Besides, I don't know what you guys would do without me giving you very morally questionable advice. So, welcome to the Kurt Ritchie Poor Decisions Patreon. Inspired by the theme of the channel, uh, poor decisions. I've been hustling on this Patreon for a while and I've tried my best to not only let it be a way for you guys to help me out, but for you guys to actually get something extra out of it too, besides my eternal gratitude. This isn't me like homeless asking for money. This is me homeless asking for money, but I'll give you like, like a scented candle in return, but the scented candles are actually pretty dope. It's like here, let me talk about these scented candles real quick. I've got five tiers based off of bad decisions I've talked about in videos. Uh, from not wanting a hot spouse to saying the N-word in a Waffle House bars. By joining at the lowest level, which is only about $2, it's $2 a month. It gets you access to the patron chat in VC in my Discord server, which we were in and was like a seriously fun time, like a really fun time. So you get early access to the videos 12 to 24 hours before and behind the scenes. Like, yo, don't you wanna see my ongoing commentary series I have on the Patreon as I comment over the most infamous testimonials? We've already got Domix, Emery shoes, tabs already up there and there's more to come, including the frugal aesthetic, MJ and imaginary ambition ones. They're coming. Here's a clip. Because I don't drink a lot, <laughs> but it sounded like fun. <laughs> <laughs> Drink a lot. <laughs> oh, I like the fucking chortle. On higher levels, you can even get a character of you featured in the credits and on my Patreon wall, which is like right above my bed. So you have the satisfaction of knowing that if it falls while I'm sleeping, um, you killed me. And I think that's like a pretty good perk. I really, that thing is not on sturdy. I'm kind of scared, but you know, it's worth it for your support. <laughs> not only that, but I've added some new bonus Kurt Ritchie content, like my new mini Patreon only podcast. Uh, here's a clip. A lot more like sucking a d*** than getting your d*** sucked. I was like, ah, you know what? That makes sense. <laughs> well, yeah, that's not a good time. And of course a bonus one minute, true Kurt Ritchie edited like me, also bad decisions like me, a video, a uh, Patreon exclusive. We're talking about usual current hot topics that are made in one day. Uh, here's another clip. And ever since my last birthday, I've kind of been like, okay, this whole aging thing needs to stop. And for the people who really show me love, you can even get a character of you in the videos. A shout out to my dude, Authorized Patrol, for making it into the last video. And some even get a one-on-one -on -one call with me for at least 30 minutes once a month to talk about your own YouTube journey or our feelings. It literally can be whatever. I was just watching a dude play league for half an hour and it was like an awesome time. Show out, man. Ah. <laughs> and even better, you can get a line in a video. A word to my patrons, Lost and Brandon. Uh, Y'all got anything to say? Is this mic working? Wait, we're doing that now? Wait, Hello. Give me check, a check. Could I'm I can't right. hear you now. Okay, we're gonna work on that. Uh, but yeah, with more money, not only will I be able to keep this hellhole running, but also improve the quality of the show. Wanna see more stills of me and videos in the looping six? I got you. Wanna see some actual drawn scenes and assets in the videos like this one? Yo, I got you. And I wanna do this because I love the show and I wanna be able to put more into it. So all in all, this channel is really important to me and I wanna make it worthwhile. So thank you all for helping me and trying to make this really, really stupid dream work. Allow me to be open and honest with you about the lessons I've learned that I'm still learning. To grow personally and hold myself accountable, all while sharing the polarizing ideas that might have helped me grow as a person, it might even help you, I don't know. You could just laugh at it, I don't know. Either's fine with me. And no matter what happens to me, at the end of the day, it's been a ride. Uh, so much love. Thank you guys.